You are probably the least productive member of your district court. Isn't that right? Well, I have not um, considered myself in those terms, um, Senator. Well, let me explain what I mean. Um, you have 125 motions pending that you've declined to decide. Well, uh, well um, just yeah. let me finish. That's more than any other district judge in the entire Seventh Circuit. In fact, you rank seventh highest nationally, do you not? I am not familiar with those statistics, Senator Kennedy. Um, you haven't looked? I did look in, in preparation for this hearing, but I didn't compare myself to others. You haven't seen that you ranked the seventh the worst in the country in terms of making decisions? You are the first to tell me this. Um, and I think for me, I, I stress the quality of my decision making. And uh, as I explained, I came on, I was the first um, district judge to come on during this administration. Yeah, but so, did, so were all the others. I mean, um, there have been 68 district judges confirmed in the 117th Congress. In terms of motions pending for more than six months, you rank number three. You all came on at the same time. You all had the same problems with COVID. You're the third worst. Do you really think of all the other district judges in the Seventh Circuit, you're the one that ought to be promoted based on this record? Senator, this is something that I've discussed with my fellow judges. All, many of us knew judges from- Not you said you'd never looked at these statistics. I, I haven't, these particular statistics I, have, I am not familiar with. But in terms of new judges, both from the current administration and the former administration, we are quite a collegial um, bunch and oftentimes talk about the pressures of a new judge and the way reassignments work in our district, which is that you get, for example, 300 cases. Yes, ma'am, I understand. I'm familiar with yeah. the procedure in federal court. Here's what I'm trying to understand. Why is your record so bad? Well. I don't view it that way, Senator. When I um, look at the quality of my decision making, um, you know, the feedback that I get from parties, um, y well, you know, of course I, parties are not going to criticize you. They want <laughs> you to rule in their favor. I, I understand, Senator Kennedy. I mean, um, that's just the way it works. Help me understand why you have such an abysmal record in moving cases. I mean, it costs a lot of money to litigate. And people are paying lawyers, and time is money. And and of all the district court judges in your in 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 the Seventh Circuit, you're the worst in terms of moving cases. Why do you think you deserve to be promoted over all of those others? So, Senator, again, I'm I'm not familiar with the statistics but I stand by my record and that I give parties what they need. Um, I think, you know, I am regularly in my courtroom. I am regularly issuing decisions. Um, I just came on at a very difficult time where there was a backlog so, so did, in the courts. So did everybody else. Let me ask you, um, you when you were a partner in your law firm, you volunteered to, uh, to, to, uh, to write a brief on behalf of the Brady Center you wrote the brief, and this is what you said. You volunteered for this. You weren't being paid. Is that right? Uh, this was a pro bono case that one of my right. partners brought right. in, yes. Um, you said, quote, assault weapons may be banned because they're extraordinarily dangerous and are not appropriate for legitimate self-defense purposes, close quote. T tell me what you meant by assault weapons. Thank you, Senator Kennedy. Just to clarify, <laughs> just to clarify there, I was local counsel. Um, our Supreme- yeah, But you wrote the brief. Tell I, me what you meant by assault weapons. Senator Kennedy, actually, I, I did not write the brief. 
Um, the brief was written by... Um, you signed the brief, though, did you? Correct. I signed and the brief. You sign a brief, you're testifying to the court that everything in it is is true, right? Yes. Okay. That, and, and I... So, I, I, so they're your words in terms of the court, right? Well, I, you're, you're correct, Senator Kennedy. Okay. I would never so sign... Tell me what you meant by assault weapons. So I, I am not a gun expert, and at the time, that brief, I think, was about but 10 years... given the court advice about, say, ban assault weapons. What is, I'm just, you told the court you were, you were, you were an expert. Just tell me what you wanted to ban. Senator, sitting here today, um, as I said, I did not write that brief. I was local counsel. Sign the brief. I understand. At, at the time. Tell that, me what you wanted to ban. That's all I'm, I'm going to know. I, Judge. I, I don't remember the exact definition of assault weapons in the, the ordinance that was at issue. So you submitted a brief. To the to, to, to an appellant brief, you signed it, and you don't know what, and you said abolish assault weapons, and you don't know what you wanted them to abolish. Senator, at the time that I signed the brief, I I read the brief um, because the, our Supreme Court required someone, an Illinois bar member, to sign the brief. I was not responsible for researching the content. You were I, responsible I, I, for the brief. I, it, absolutely, absolutely. And sitting here today, I do not remember the characteristics of, of that were that were cited in the ordinance for the assault weapons ban. Sorry. It's not an area of practice that I have um, specialized in. I'm sure if, ten years ago, I re, I would I could have answered your question. You know, sitting you here want, today, you want you think Sorry, you deserve to be promoted. Expired. With this record. Senator, I I stand by my record. 